Using Apple Notes is one of the best ways how to record your thoughts or reminders. Most of the time you will just need a simple text. But it doesn't need to be just this boring plain text. It can be something more like this. Let me show you how to add these colors and use different fonts in Apple Notes. The easiest way how to emphasize text is to use bold, italic or underline. You have these styles hidden under this button. But much faster is to use shortcuts. Select part of the text, press command B and the selection will get bold. Same with underline. Select text and press the combination command U. And I can make this part of the text italic with command I. That's the basics. Also, under this button you can find few different styles and fonts you can quickly apply to your text. But the thing is that you are not limited just by these few predefined fonts. You can use hundreds of fonts and you can also change the color of text. To open fonts, I like to use the keyboard shortcut again. It's command plus T. T like text, it's easy to remember. But anyway, if you forget the shortcut, you can find this command under the format menu down here in fonts. Now, once I have the fonts table opened, I can scroll between many different fonts, use different style of each font and also change the size. Even such a basic thing like changing the text size is not possible to do in notes unless you open the font viewer. There is no button for that in the toolbar. So luckily, we can at least do it this way. Now once I have the fonts sorted, we can look at the colors. You can find the color under the same location in the format menu. Here is the command to show colors. Again, there is a shortcut to open it faster. It's shift command C. Here I have basically unlimited coloring options. I can create my own colors to make it nicer and easier for navigation in a long text. And to make the text stand out even more, you can use different symbols and emojis. Press Ctrl, Command, Space and this emoji viewer will appear so I can select anything from here and edit in my note. There are also so many tricks about this emoji viewer. For example, how to add your favorites folder there. So you will have only emojis you choose or how to add some other special characters to the text. But more about it in the next video. If you don't want to miss it, make sure to subscribe and become part of Apple Online Academy. In that case, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.